Hey guys, Jillia here. Welcome to this Shopify tutorial. In this video, I'm going to guide you through the process of setting up your Shopify store. I'm going to condense the time frame as much as possible so we can cover the most important things. So stick with me, I'll show you a bit of everything. In the end of the video, I'm also going to talk about a free resource I've prepared for you, which is going to be really, really helpful in your Shopify journey. So make sure to stick around for that. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Step number one, if you haven't already, sign up for a Shopify account. You'll find the best current Shopify deal linked in the description. Right now, it's a three day free trial and then $1 for the first month. Once you've signed up, follow the prompts to create your account and you'll be taken to your Shopify dashboard. Step number two, choose a theme for your store. So go to online store, scroll down and select a theme. In this tutorial, we'll be using the theme Dawn. Step number three, let's start designing. We're going to right click on customize and open the theme editor on a new tab. From here, we can now design the online store. So first, let's click up here on theme settings and add a logo. If you haven't created a logo yet, I highly recommend using Kittle. It's very easy to use and it's my favorite tool for design. I'll leave it linked in the description. So upload your logo. And here you can adjust your logo size. Now down here, you can also change the colors and fonts of your online store. Now let's go back to the sections and add a nice banner image. I'm also going to add a second banner image. To enter a store title, click here on the text block and type it in. Now we're going to go back to the Shopify dashboard tab and add some products to the store. If you're syncing with a dropshipping or print on demand supplier like Printify or Zendrop, your products can be automatically imported from their platform. And you can then edit everything here inside Shopify. I'll also leave my top supplier recommendations linked for you in the description. Otherwise, if you have your own products and in inventory, you can go to products, click on add product, and fill out all the details. Add your title, description, images, pricing, and your search engine listing information. I made a whole video on how to add products to Shopify, so go ahead and check that out if you need to. And once you're done, make sure your product statuses are all set to active. Now click here on sales channels, and make sure online store is selected. Now go back and repeat the process to add more products. Once that's ready, you'll need to create collections. This is how you're going to organize your catalog and set up a user-friendly browsing flow for your customers. To give you some ideas, if you're creating a clothing store, for example, you could create collections for tops, bottoms, shoes, and so on. The idea is to group your products into logical categories. And while creating the collections, we are going to create every possible category we can think of. We'll then be splitting them into sub and main categories later in our navigation menu. So now let's head to collections and click on create collection. First, add a title and edit the search engine listing. And the most important part, add a collection image. This is what customers will click on to see the products. So choose something that's attractive and accurately represents your collection. If you need extra guidance with collections, I've also made a full video going through each of these steps and covering everything you should consider. I'll leave it linked down below. Now click on save and let's add the products that belong in this collection. Once you've added your products, you can reorder them right here. I recommend placing what you think will sell the most first, as this will appear at the top in your storefront. You could also arrange this manually based on your catalog aesthetic. Some products will shine more depending on what's shown next to them, so it's something you can have in mind as well. Once you have it, go back and repeat the process to create more collections. Once they are all ready, we're going to head back to the theme tab, and by default, you will see a section has already been added here named Featured Collection. 
but to help you understand how this really works, let's quickly delete this and start from scratch. To add a new section, we are going to click right here and select Featured Collection. Now click right here and select which collection to show. Now I'm going to delete the title for a better aesthetic and down here, you can adjust the layout of these covers. I'm actually going to click this button and enable a carousel scrolling function. To continue creating, click on Add Section and let's add a collection list. This will help your customers browse through your store and lead them to other collection pages so they can view more products. Let's set the number of columns to four, change the background color to create a slight contrast, and go to the first block. Choose the first collection, and you'll see it here. Now we're going to repeat the process to add the other collections. If you want to show less than four, you can delete them here and then go back to the section settings and change the number of columns to a lower number. Now I'm going to delete the title for a better aesthetic. Now let's add the next section. Click on Featured Collection and let's customize it again. This time I'm actually going to add a title, select my collection and change the layout. All right, looking good. So let's add the next section. Now we're gonna go for a featured product. So up here, select one of your best looking products. Now I'm going to change the background's color to create a slight contrast. Next up, let's add another section. We're now gonna go for another collection list. This will create some nice visual variation. So now I'm going to repeat the previous process to customize the section. All right, the homepage is looking pretty good and it's almost ready. We're going to finish it off with an FAQ for the customers. But for that to look aesthetically pleasing, we'll need to create some contrast between these sections. Otherwise, it's not really going to stand out. We want to make sure that our store looks nice and professional. So let's click on Add Section and on Banner Image. Now choose a nice photo. Delete these blocks. Uncheck this, this, and this, and adjust the image size. You might also want to lower the opacity to make it a little bit darker. And you can also add some movement animations down here. All right, this looks like a nice visual transition. Now let's finish off the homepage with an FAQ. Click on Add Section and on Collapsible Content. Let's name it Frequently Asked Questions. So click on the first block and enter the first question. Now click down here and enter a smart answer. Here you can also choose an icon that fits the question topic. Now click on the next block and repeat the process for the next questions. And here we have it. By the way, this is just an example and a demonstration on how to create different sections. There are infinite ways on how to set up your store layout, and the best one for you will depend on what you're selling. Just make sure to add high quality images. I also recommend adding customer reviews, as that can build a lot of trust with potential buyers. You could also add a banner highlighting any current promotions or new product launches. Or as another example, you could use this multi-column to communicate the key benefits of your brand or even give instructions on how to use a product. And as another example, you could use an image with text section to highlight your brand story and mission. So take your time and test different layouts and see what works best for your brand. Just keep in mind that aesthetics will play an important role in sales and a professional looking store is one of the foundations of your success. All right, now let's view the product pages. Click up here and select product. Now click on default template and here you'll see the product page. 
As you can see, we have something basic by default. If we make any changes to this template, it's going to apply to all of the other product pages as well. So what I highly recommend you do is creating custom product pages that are optimized for conversions. You'll be adding sections highlighting the benefits of each product and ideally also featuring customer reviews. I also recommend adding product bundle offers. To help you with all of this, I have a step-by-step -step tutorial you can follow. I'll leave it linked in the description. Now, if you scroll up and down, you'll see we still don't have a navigation menu. So hit save and let's go back to the Shopify dashboard. Click on navigation and click on main menu. Add menu item. And here, let's link to one of our main collections. Now repeat the process and link to all of your other collections. If you have a lot of them, you can create sub menu items by drag and dropping like this. You might also want to include an about us page in your menu, though to do that, you would first have to create that page. So we'll be doing that in a moment. For now, hit save and go back. Now here, you can also edit your footer menu. This is where you'll want to add important things like your privacy policy, refund policies, etc. We'll also be coming back to this in a little bit. Now, if you go back to your theme editor and click on header, here you can select your main menu. And if you scroll all the way down, here in the footer section is where you'll later add the footer menu. Now let's hit save and go back to the Shopify dashboard. We're now going to go over the management settings of Shopify. So click on settings, head over to markets and select the countries you'll be selling to. Now head over to shipping and delivery. And if you are drop shipping, your shipping settings might automatically be synced with your supplier. And if not, you'll now have to configure the shipping. And there are different ways to do this depending on your pricing strategy. If you want to offer free shipping, click on general, go down here and create a shipping zone with all the countries you'll be selling to. Now click here and set the price to zero. Now, if you do want to charge shipping prices and customize things in more detail, then I highly recommend you go over this video. I'll leave it linked down below. Then you'll want to head over to the payment settings. Depending on your location, you might be able to use ShopPay, which is Shopify's payment gateway. Otherwise, you can go down here and choose another provider. I recommend using Stripe. And back here, I also recommend activating PayPal. When all of that is ready, head over here to domains. And if you haven't already, purchase a domain. If you want to keep this as easy as possible without any complex configurations, you can just buy a domain right here inside Shopify for $15 per year. And if you want to go for a more economical option, what you can do instead is use a platform called Namecheap. There you can buy a domain for around $5. I'll leave it linked in the description. All right, now let's finalize this. Go to policies and click to create each of these policies so that your store complies with all regulations. Now let's close the settings and go to pages. Here you can now create an about us page. So click on create page and type in about us. Now go to online store Click on Customize, go up here, and select Pages. Now click on this template, and you can follow the same steps we learned earlier to customize your About Us page. Just click on Add Section and get creative. When that's ready, hit Save, head back to the dashboards, and let's finally create that footer menu. So go to Navigation, click on Footer Menu, Add Menu Item, and your Policy. Now repeats the process to add the other policies. Hit save and go back. 
here in the main menu. You can now add your About Us menu item if you want to. Once that's ready, hit save, go back, and let's go live. Click on Online Store and remove the store password. Congratulations for making it this far. You are now ready to start selling. Now what I recommend is thinking of different marketing strategies to bring visitors into your store. If you have a budget for advertising, I have a step-by-step -step TikTok ads tutorial you can follow. I'll leave a link in the description. Alternatively, you could also go for free methods like posting on social media and SEO. Once you're getting some visitors, you'll be able to track those here in the analytics section. Your orders will be found up here. And in this section, you could also create automated emails for marketing. I also recommend creating discount codes so that you can add value to your offers. I'll leave a tutorial for that down below as well. And before you go, in the description below, you will also find a link to a free resource pack of designs to help you further into this journey. It's a digital magazine bundle featuring a marketing guide and a branding guide. I've chosen some of the coolest and most successful Shopify stores that I've come across, and I've broken them down into segments of what they're doing right so you can follow their footsteps to create your own success story. It's loaded with top knowledge marketing tips and tons of inspiring creative ideas for your store. In the branding guides, you'll find pretty much everything you will need to know to create a thriving brand from scratch. You'll find tips and definitions on how to create a solid brand identity, basics on brand voice, visuals, intelligent color use for sales, and other top knowledge insider stuff. You can find both of those resources for free in the description. And if you haven't signed up for Shopify yet, I'm also going to leave a link taking you to the best current deal for getting started. Right now it's a three-day free trial and then $1 for the first month. Thank you so much for sticking around this far. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. It'll make my day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.